Okay, so this is going to be a really quick uh, video just to talk about exponential functions and their basic shapes. So the goal here after a couple of videos is that you'll be able to sketch exponential functions based upon uh, being given their formula or the, the actual function itself. Uh, so first of all, we just need to talk about the four basic shapes. So there's four basic shapes. Uh, we'll just go through them each in turn. Now the first one is the one you're looking at right here. Uh, that's y equals e to the power of x. Uh, now that's, you can see that that's the exponential function you're probably most familiar with. Things like bacteria in a petri dish increasing over time or compound interest. Um, now it's got an asymptote at y equals zero, meaning it never touches the x-axis. It passes through um, zero, one here and it goes up out into the sky. So that's y equals e to the x. Now we need to, con uh, I'll just draw that really, really quickly. It'll look something like that. So that's y equals e to the x. Uh, I probably should draw in my whole thing there. Okay, now let's contrast that with y equals negative e to the x. So this is our second basic shape. Okay, so there's our second basic shape. You can see that if we have a negative function, so negative e to the power of x, what we're going to end up with, it's still going to have an asymptote at 0 there. Now this time it's going to pass through, instead of 0, 1, like it did here, it's going to pass through 0, negative 1 and it's going to decrease rapidly. So it's just a mirror image in the x-axis. Now the third basic shape, uh, which we'll go through here, is y equals e to the negative x. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Now if we contrast that with uh, e to the x, so we've got e to the x and now we've got e to the negative x, you can see that that's a mirror image in the y-axis this time. So we've got a function that looks like that. Uh, now it still passes through 0, 1 like the first function and it has an asymptote at uh, y equals 0 so it never touches the x-axis but this time it moves up that way. So it's just a mirror image in the y-axis. Now finally we'll go on to our fourth basic shape. I'll just make a little bit of space here. Now our fourth basic shape is all negatives, negatives everywhere. So we're going to have y equals negative e to the negative x. And we can take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so you can see that this is mirrored in both directions here, which is what you'd expect. We have e to the x, which is going up this way, and we've got negative e to the negative x, which is going down this way. So we've got our x-axis here. This is going to pass through 0, negative 1. It's going to have an asymptote at y equals 0, and it's going to increase up to there. Okay, so there's our four basic basic shapes of exponential functions. Being able to uh, remember these is going to be your first step to uh, sketching an exponential function uh, based upon its equation.